to connect your Squarespace newsletter box to your MailChimp account, there are just a handful of steps. So I'm going to demonstrate that this here on a client website, but um, it's going to look the exact same on your own Squarespace website as well. So in this case, I'm navigating over, I'm logged into the website, I'm under the pages menu, and I'm gonna navigate to the page where my newsletter box appears. Now, if your newsletter opt-in is in your footer, you only have to do this once, but it is important to note that if your newsletter box is not in the footer and it is on a page, you will need to make sure that each box is connected to the account. It's a pain, I know. So. Um, in this case, we're gonna go um, here on the home page and we're gonna come up to edit. And I'm gonna connect this to my um, test MailChimp account, but it, obviously you would use your own account credentials. So here's our news newsletter box. I'm gonna click on that and get to the pencil. Click on the pencil and then remember you can drag these little tiny windows over to the middle of your screen so you can see them better. So here are all of our newsletter fields and we are interested in the storage option. So we're gonna come down here to, for a MailChimp account, we're gonna use the other storage options, give that one click, and then we're gonna click connect next to MailChimp. What that's gonna do is open a screen um, from MailChimp and ask you to go ahead and log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And say log in. Okay, and it's gonna ask me to authorize Squarespace um, just to connect these two accounts. I'm gonna go ahead and say allow. And, okay, so the next step here is going to tell me that it, I must select a list. And so if you already have um, a list created, ideally you'll do that first, um, whether that's just your general newsletter list or you want it to be a specific website opt-in list, if it's for a specific lead magnet, those kind of things. But here you'll get the drop down. you'll see all of your list. I just have a, one default um, here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one. And then I can choose whether or not to require the double opt-in. We do um, recommend that you keep that toggled on just to make sure that you are following all email best practices and that people understand that even if you are offering them a digital download or some kind of lead magnet that this also means they're going to be subscribed to your list. Um, once you have that accomplished you um, can back out of this and just click off. There is no save button here that will come up here to done and save and now your newsletter box has been connected to MailChimp.